All right, here's a totally made up molecule that we'll do some functional groups and we'll do hybridization with. Uh, in this case, the functional groups are all on the same molecule. So you have a molecule with multiple functional groups. So let's just go through, what do you see? Yeah, a phenol right here. So you wouldn't say alcohol and aerine. You'd say phenol when there's OH directly bonded. What else do you see? Yeah, this carbonyl, that's not a functional group though. It's a ketone. It's not an ester because you need that O over here. Uh, so what's, what would you call this? Ether. Ether, alkyne, and organic halide. So now let's do some hybridization. Hybridization, you count the bonds. So uh, there's kind of two ways you can do hybridization. One is, or you count the bonds of the groups. So two, three, or four, I'll say groups. That gives you the hybridization of sp, sp2, sp3. Or another way you can do it is from the bonds. If you see a, a triple bond, that's sp. If you see a double bond, that's sp2. And single bonds are sp3. Uh, so it might be faster to do it this way. It depends what you prefer. So, for example, how about this one? That's an SP2. There's two ways you can do it. There's three groups. A double bond, a single bond to a carbon, and a hydrogen undrawn. Three groups. A uh, double, single, and a single. So that's SP2. Or you could say, hey, there's a double bond there. So it's SP2. Uh, how about this one? SP2. Also, there's three groups, a double bond to O, single bond to carbon on one side and the other side, that's called three. So that's sp2, or you could just say there's double bond there, so it's sp2, this one. sp3, uh, it's all single bonds, there's four, uh, so all single bonds is sp3, or four groups. Two single bonds, one to carbon and one to oxygen, oxygen on the right, or, and two single bonds to hydrogens that are undrawn. So remember, every carbon has four bonds. We're not drawing in the hydrogens. Uh, here's a tougher one. Let's skip it for a second. How about that one? Has to be SP. There's only two groups, and one's a triple bond. How about that one? SP, and then SP3. Four groups there, uh, all single bonds. OK, let's do the top one. It said sp3, there's two lone pairs not drawn in. Every carbon, every oxygen will have two lone pairs not drawn in. Every uh, nitrogen will have how many lone pairs not drawn in? One. Okay, so that's hybridization and functional groups all in one.